Hello everyone. This week we're going to be working on Code Monkey, and we're going to be working on um, Beaver Achiever right over here. So you're going to click on that one, and you don't have to sign up. You just click Start Playing right over here, and it just takes some time to load. Now I'm going to turn the sound off so you don't have to hear it. So what we have to do is we have to code the little guy over here, the little beaver. We have to code him to complete uh, the various tasks. Okay, so for the first one over here, they just want us to drag the, the block over. And this is similar to code.org and Scratch. We have when we click play, it runs the code. So our code's going to tell the beaver, go down, get the, um, get the uh, block here, and then drop it. Get the, the wood block. So he goes down. And then he drops it. All right, so it starts off simple. And we have to help him to, to build. And uh, it's going to get a little harder and harder as it goes on. So let's go to the next one. So now here, how many does he need? He needs two of them. So we'll do two blocks. We're creating an algorithm to list the steps. So we're telling him what we want him to do. Here's our algorithm. When we click play, He's going to first go drop a block and then a second one. So that's a, we're building an algorithm here, a list of steps. Okay, so we completed that. Now you see he comes right on by. To the next one. Now with this one, we have to create an algorithm for, algorithm for him to do this one over here so we have to have go left one two so two times left and then he's going to drop his block and then we run our program and he comes right on by celebrating that he completed the uh, mission there go to the next one So now we got a little trickier one here. He's got to go to two of them. So let's have him go to the left, one time to the left, and then he's going to drop a block. And then after that, he's got to go one, two times to the right, and then he'll drop his block. Okay, so let's take a look at this. And then one, two, drop the, the block. So now here, he's got to do this one over here, and then this one. He's got to fix the dam here. So what's he going to do? He's going to do two drops down over here. And let's just run that first to make sure that works. Sometimes you could do this. You can do two of them and check your algorithm, your list of steps, and you can debug and see if there's any errors here. So we don't need a hint. We're going to you know, redo it. And then what you could, after he does that, we know that works. He's going to go to the right two times, and then he'll drop a block. He goes to the right. Okay, so there he goes. Okay, let's look at the next one. So now we have here, we have our repeat loop. Okay, so we're going to use a repeat loop. And you can change how many times you want it to be. So we're going to have three times here. So what do we want him to do? We want to drop one, two, three, three drops. Okay, so that's our repeat loop. Three times drop. Anything inside the repeat loop does it that many times. So we want it to do three times. You could change the number, but we're going to do three because one, two, three. So one, repeat loop three times. Number seven. So we need him to go to the left first. One, two, three, four times to the left. If we want to, we could go like this. Two, three, four. Or what we could do is just say repeat loop four times to the left. This is the same thing. We have one, two, three, four times left or repeat loop four times to the left. And then what do we have to do after it? So first we're going to see if this works. 
And now we're going to deb debug. So what's missing? We got four times to the left, and then what are we going to do next? We're going to drop. So don't put it in here because that's move, drop, move, drop, move, drop. We don't want that. We want move, 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 four moves, and then the drop. Okay, so sometimes you can do them one at a time, part of the time, you know, and then uh, you, you do it over multiple steps. Okay, so now we have pick up. Let's try that. Let's try the chop. Let's see how that goes. Let's try pick up and chop. Pick up and chop. So what do we need to do? Hmm. We need the wrong size. So let's try another one. Let's try another one. So we can chop again. Pick up, chop, chop. And we got it. Okay, so that's, now we have the chop, the pick up and the chop. Now we have the until plank is, and this is uh, stands for level. So what are we going to do? We're going to pick up the uh, block here, the, uh, the wood block, and we're going to tell them, we want you to keep chopping until the plank is L. Okay, they have their different large. large L stands for large, and they, we want a large. So what we're telling them, this is what they call repeat until. We are telling him, keep repeating this until the plank is large. So he's going to keep chopping until it's large. So that's repeat until. And he's got that. And now number 10. When the customer arrives, we're going to add the banana, and then let's try blend and serve. So let's see how that looks. The customer arrives, he blends, and then he's got to serve him a drink. And he's so happy to uh, get his drink. So that's number 10. Okay, so now we have when the customer arrives, maybe they want... A carrot. So we could try different, you know, things. We'll put carrot here and then blend and serve. So we could change the different thing. There. So here, oh, look, a rabbit arrives up. Give him a carrot and blend and serve him. Okay, so that's what the carrot's like. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say this is a conditional. We have if and if rabbit. So if it's a monkey, what should you do if it's a monkey? Well, if it's a monkey, you're going to give him a banana and you're going to blend and serve. If it's a rabbit, what do you? What are the rabbits like? The rabbits like the carrots, and then they blend and serve. So this is a if conditional, if then conditional. If it's a monkey, give him a banana and blend it. If it's a rabbit, give him a carrot and and, and blend and serve. So a monkey, oh, it's a monkey. Give him a banana, blend it, and then serve it. And he got the drink that he likes. So this is a conditional. Okay, so now the rabbit comes. If it's a rabbit, give him a um, carrot and then serve it. And this is an event on the top. When the customer arrives, that's the event. So when the event happens, which is when the customer arrives, if it's a monkey, give him a banana, blend, and serve. If it's a uh, rabbit... Give them a carrot, blend, and serve. So that's number 12. We're only going to do up to number 12 this week. If you um, if you want to do more of them, you're more than welcome to. But for the assignment for this week is only to do up to number 12.